This is a diary from our last road trip that unfortunately turned into nightmare. We thought we'd lose shadow. So a fair trigger warning, this might be hard to watch. Even though the story has a happy end, the last few days have been really challenging for us all. So if you want to learn more about that, please keep watching. Hi guys, it's Lara and Shadow. Thank you all for watching and welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna be vlogging. It's gonna be a vlog over a few more days. We decided to go on a short road trip. So right now we are in South Czechia, but at this moment we are only passing through. We are going to the Western part of Czechia to visit my aunt. And then a few days later, we'll go back to South Czechia to visit my friend Jindřiška. We have about two more hours to drive to my aunt, but I wanted to take a little break so that I could stretch my legs and that also Shadow could stretch his legs. And we stopped spontaneously at the side of the road and we discovered this wonderful pond here. South Czechia is known for many ponds and lakes. It's really a beautiful area. Of course, not as beautiful as Mr. Bushy Tail, right, Shadow? Who is the goodest boy? Anyway, so that's what's going on. We're gonna go back to the car and I'll talk to you guys after I unpacked everything at my aunt. Mm. Alrighty, so we are at my aunt. I already unpacked everything and talked a bit with my aunt. She made a zucchini soup for me and I also had some leftovers that I had as a snack for the trip. So I had a falafel wrap, so I finished that for dinner. And now I'm gonna take a shower, we're gonna chat a little bit and uh, we're gonna go pretty soon uh, to sleep because it's been a long day. I set up Shadow's bed next to the place where I sleep because that's pretty much the way we have it at home so that must be really nice for him. Good morning. We woke up around 6 o'clock. I stayed in bed a little bit and fumbled on my phone but then I decided it was time to get up. Um, so I got myself ready. I am dressed actually pretty warm because it's only 7 degrees now outside which is amazing because that's the perfect husky weather. Apropos husky, there we have Mr. Bushytail. Good morning Mr. Bushytail. Are you sunbathing? <laughs> He's so cute. I'm pretty sure my aunt is still sleeping so we're gonna be very quiet when we go downstairs and we'll go now on our morning walkie. There's a doggo. <laughs> No, he's not gonna be playing with us, he's guarding. Shadow, for whatever reason, did not want to go in the woods. That was the weirdest thing. He would freeze and wouldn't want to go either way. So I presented him to go around. So we are walking around the field here. There's a football stadium and now he calmed down. I have no idea what was there, but clearly it was something that really, really bothered him. So we went a little bit around the field and then we turned around and I kind of tricked him into going to the wood. Uh, he still didn't want to be there, but when I thought about it, I thought if I allow him to leave, it might kind of enforce the fear or whatever he was feeling. And I wanted to show him that there was nothing to be afraid of. So. I asked him to come and gave him a dog a treat and then I had him make a few tricks, something he enjoys so that he would have something positive to think about there and then I allowed him at some point to turn around and now we're going back. It looks like he's happier exploring the fences around here instead of going to the woods which is weird because 
the woods is that's normally his favorite place. I really would love to know what made him feel like he didn't want to be there. So Shadow did not eat anything in the morning and in general he was very tired the entire day. I don't know if there's anything wrong with him, I hope not. Or if it's just the stress from traveling. He's an older dog after all. We do not know the exact birth date since he is from a shelter and they did not have the exact information but from what we found out he's about 12 years old and that's quite a high age for a husky so of course traveling will affect him and even though I'm trying to make traveling as comfortable as possible for him he will feel that and he did not eat anything in the evening either which scares me a bit the good thing though was that in the afternoon we went with my aunt on a walk with him and we went to the woods but from a completely different side and we lured him in and he would walk in with us after a while he froze again and wanted to turn around but i was able to lure him in with a few dog treats and then we came to a spot there was a huge broken branch and once we passed the spot, he was okay. So if he knew somehow that there was a broken tree, I don't know. But it's just a very weird thing. But then again, animals are super smart and they can sense things that we don't know. So maybe it was just that. That being said, I still do worry about him because he's my baby. I love him and I hope that everything is okay. So I'll see how he's gonna feel tomorrow. And should this type of behavior continue, then of course we would go to the vet. Right now he cuddled on my blanket and he looks pretty comfortable there. So I hope that tomorrow he's gonna feel better and that he's gonna have more energy and that I can be back with some much better news for you guys. So see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so the next morning we went only on a short walk because Shadow didn't feel like walking too far. He was even walking with his tail down, that's not a good sign for me, and he wouldn't eat. At some point I tried to give him at least the treat that he gets in the evening before he goes to bed because he really likes them, and he ate at least that. He took a few single doggo treats but he wouldn't touch his bowl, so that really worries me. Uh, we are about to leave around noon from my aunt to Trebon, that's the town in South Czechia where my friend Jindřiška lives and I decided if that's not gonna improve till tomorrow we will go there to a vet and of course once we'll be back at home we will go to our vet. There was one improvement at least though, at some point Shadow decided he wanted to go out so he went into the yard and explored the yard a little bit and now he found a nice spot at the pool and he's just chilling there. So that's definitely more energy and more activity uh, than we've seen yesterday. Alright, so we are ready to leave. It looks like Shadow is doing a little bit better, but he's still walking very weirdly. We're definitely going to the vet, but he ate at least a little bit, so that's a good sign. My both cousins came. Uh, it was wonderful to see them and their families. I had a wonderful time, and as you can hear, it's pouring, but that doesn't matter to us. We're in the dry car, and we are continuing our trip and this time we go to South Czechia to Trebon. So far the traffic is not bad at all. Right now I'm driving through a construction work but other than that it's just very easy. It's Sunday so most people are still at home. It even stopped pouring so it's perfect. So see you guys when we're gonna arrive in Trebon. little update we are almost at Trebon and we made a little stop here at this beautiful pond and I took shadow potty and that was the first time when he even wanted to walk somewhere down a place that was quite steep he peed and then he hopped normally into the car and he seems like he's in a little bit better mood so 
I have my hopes that all is gonna be okay, but I do have to admit I have to use all my strength to not lose my shit because I love him so so much and I'm just so worried about him and it also helps that I can share this with you guys because I feel like I'm not alone in this. I mean obviously of course I talk and write back and forth about this with Jack so I'm not completely alone in this but he's not here personally so it's really nice to have at least the camera to talk to because that way I know I'm kind of talking to you guys it helps me we just arrived at the apartment it looks so beautiful and again shadow seems to be in a little bit better mood even though the bushy tail still hangs down what I want to see is the curly tail, then I know he's going to be okay again. My friend Yindrishka just came over and look what she brought me. She made this lovely cake. It's called Pernik in Czech, which is also the same name for gingerbread. And it's so fluffy and chocolatey and it smells so good. And I made tea for us and we have here cashew milk for the tea. And she also brought me homemade cabbage soup i'm so spoiled so thank you so so much and i'm sure it's gonna be absolutely lovely and mr bushy tail is still chilling over here but he went at least a little bit out the bushy tail was up again he went into the field and i think he pooped so let's see how he's gonna feel later you guys this is the moment i was hoping for so Yendrishka brought also a doggy can because he was clearly not happy with the food that I had for him. I know that's not the healthiest choice, but he's eating and that's the most important thing. So I'm so relieved now. Anyway, whatever the issue was, I hope that he's going to be doing much better tomorrow and he already seems much better than he was and I can't even tell you often enough how relieved I am because I love him so so much he's my everything he's my baby and if anything happened to him that would be the end of for me that I'd be devastated just like I was when Hecky Bear left us I'm simply not ready for that and of course there is never a guarantee the life expectancy of a husky is something between 12 and 14 years so I do understand that we don't know how much time we have, but I still hope that we'll have at least one or two Christmases with him. And preferably 25 years or something like that. Bad news, um, Shadow's having a hard time getting up when he was on his bed and I called him to go potty. He was really struggling with getting up and I had to help him. And then he laid down here. I'm actually trying to persuade him to go out and he just would not get up so at this point i'm pretty desperate uh, so i'm gonna call the vet here and see if i can get an appointment here today if not then i schedule an appointment tomorrow in vienna because tomorrow we are leaving in the morning he managed to get up when i tried to help him he was wincing a little bit so obviously something hurts so maybe it is an injury I don't know, but I actually decided we're gonna go home. I'm gonna call our vet, they open at nine, and I schedule an appointment as early as we can, and we're gonna leave today. Now he curled up on his bed. I also spread the blanket a little bit wider, so when he tries to get up, that he has a surface that's not so slippery, because that's obviously a huge struggle. And I'll have my breakfast now. And after I had my breakfast, I will pack everything together and I will bring everything into the car. And by the time when I'll be done, the vet should be already at the vet's office. So I'll call them and schedule an appointment. And regardless of when our appointment is going to be, we'll go home. And I just hope for the best. But I'll be the first to admit that I'm kind of desperate and I'm afraid what's going on because... I love him and yeah, it's just, it breaks my heart to see him like this. All right guys, so we are all packed and ready to drive back home to Vienna. I spoke to the vet 
Uh, we could have had an appointment today at 10.30, but there is no way we could make it at that time to Vienna because it's several hours away. And later today they have emergency surgery, so they can't take us today anymore. But we have an appointment for tomorrow at 3 o'clock. The vet told us to take it easy in the meantime, and we just hope for the best. And I'm pretty sure that driving back home right away is the best decision for Shadow because I don't want to add to the stress. I think being at least in his own environment is going to make him feel a little bit better. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow after we were at the vet. All right, guys, so here we are the next day. I know I said I'm going to talk to you after we've been at the vet, but I need to give you an update before we go there. So here we have Shadow <clears throat> underneath the table. I put a yoga mat underneath the table because um, he's having a hard time getting up. He basically can't manage it at all on his own at this point, unless he's on a surface where he has more grip. So that's why the yoga mat. And also I just want him to be as comfortable as possible. So yesterday when we came home, it was very clear that it was the right decision to go home earlier. Um, he was very happy to be at home. He even ate early in the afternoon. He went to the yard and did his business. Uh, but as soon as he would lay down on a smooth surface, he's basically not able to get up on his own. He needs help and clearly something's hurting him because sometimes when I try to help him up he would cry a little bit and that's just so hard to watch. When Jack came from the office during the day Shadow would get up and he went to Jack, he was wagging his tail and pushed his head against him and cuddled and then he went into his usual spot underneath the stairs and slept pretty much till the evening like around 7 or something. So we persuaded him to get up again at that time because we wanted him to go pee and we wanted to try to give him something to eat again and then he did his business again and um, I placed into the yard his fluffy carpet it looks like fur but it's polyester and he laid on that and I put my yoga mat behind him and I laid down and I held him and we cuddled and he seemed super happy I brushed him and then I gave him something to eat and he ate quite a lot, which was actually good. And then later, after we had dinner and after it was time uh, to go to bed, I asked him to go and pee again. So again, since it was in the yard where he had more grip, he managed to get up, he peed, and then we contemplated whether to bring his bed down and so that I would sleep here downstairs with him or whether to help him to go up because we thought, you know, maybe sleeping in his usual spot would make him feel at least a little bit better. So we decided for the ladder, so we helped him up. But once he was upstairs at some point, until he made it to his bed, he his legs gave in again and he just, you know, fell on his belly. And it was just so hard to watch because he was desperately trying to get up and I was trying to help him. but clearly something hurt him and he was crying it was just it was so hard anyway so we helped him to his bed and he slept the entire night in his bed which is something he normally never does normally he would get up a couple of times at night and sleep for a bit next to his bed to cool himself off or even in the bathroom shortly on the tiles if it would be warmer and he only turned to the other side a couple of times and he was breathing occasionally very heavily. And I figured since he can't cool himself off on the floor, I should give him something to drink, especially because of the heavy breathing. I thought his throat has to be dry and he drank quite a lot. He actually drank an entire water bottle, the, the water bottle that we normally uh, carry with us on our walks. And it clearly made him feel better. I also always cuddled with him and um, I even laid down next to him for a bit and that helped him to calm down so he would lay down again and he slept for a bit and it went on for the entire night like that. I think I've been up like at least five or six times with him. So I'm gonna let him sleep and I will finally have my breakfast. Um, I've been up for over three hours and I wasn't hungry but now my stomach is growling and I can definitely need the strength. All right, guys, so we just came back from the vet. 
uh, I've been praying the entire morning that someone would call us and tell us we could come earlier and they did they called us shortly before noon and they told us that we could come actually two hours earlier and I was so happy about that because I really wanted him to be looked at as soon as possible so that they could help him and that he would have some relief so a couple of things first he has fever and then his entire spine is super sensitive and it looks like he has some kind of inflammation which might be very likely the cause of all his issues he's dealing with currently and the fever also explains why he feels so warm and the heavy breathing and i'm actually very happy i gave him so much to drink at night because uh, his throat must have been so dry and since he wasn't able to move away from bed and to cool himself off on the ground that must have been horrible so it was definitely a good thing to do uh, so he got some pain medicine, something anti-inflammatory, something that helps with the fever and he got antibiotics and they said, they discussed certain things and they said like, yeah, I wonder if that could be something that he got from a tick. So they asked me whether he had a tick this year and I remember he had tick one time. So they gave him some special antibiotics that could treat also whatever would come from ticks so we're treating all that and tomorrow we are going back for a checkup in the morning he seems a little bit better on our way home from the vet i saw that he was still walking very stiff and his tail was still down but it looked like he was a little bit more balanced and when we came home he went straight underneath the stairs and then a couple of minutes later he suddenly got up uh, on his own and he came into the living room and decided he wanted to be here underneath the table on the yoga mat again so clearly it's very comfortable and one more thing when we were on our way to the vet i thought about something we experienced with hercules because he had knee surgery so i said uh, to jack you know what grab a phone and film shadow from behind and from the top and from the side how he walks because i'm pretty sure they will want to see that and that was really a good idea because when we came in the vet said like um you know it would be good if we could see him walking at least a few steps and i was like i got something even better for you guys so i showed them the video and they were like good thinking so if you have a dog if they have any motoric issue definitely film them walking in different environments like maybe on the sidewalk or in the yard before you go to the vet because it's definitely gonna help them so yeah so that's for today i hope that tomorrow when i'm gonna sit down and film the next clips that i'm gonna have even better news so see you tomorrow shadow slept the entire night so deeply he did not breathe as heavily as he did the night before and in the morning he was even snoring he decided he did not want to sleep in his bed he wanted to sleep in his cave underneath the stairs instead so of course we let him because we thought if that's where he feels safe and comfortable then perfect i still slept downstairs i slept on the sofa so that if anything should happen i would be close and i would hear him and then later in the morning he suddenly got up on his own and he wanted to go out he drank water outside even though he has water inside he just prefers the water outside for whatever reason and then he came back he laid down underneath the table and that's where he stayed until we went to the bed and um, when we told him it's time to go he got up without any issues he even stretched which is something he hasn't done for a few days and that was already an amazing sign and on our way to vet he stopped in the garage and he was actually looking at the car uh, kind of like asking are we going to the woodsies so i had to disappoint him i told him no we're walking and even though he went slowly i could tell that he was moving better than yesterday when we came to the vet there is a step at the entrance door and that step was a problem yesterday for shadow and jack had to help him up today it was not an issue at all he just walked up the step like nothing happened and in the waiting room he did not lay down he was just standing there he just sat down shortly and then he was up again and he was actually looking expectantly at the door to the vet's office because he loves going to the vet 
It's funny because Hercules also loved going to the vet and whenever we would come to the waiting room he would be actually pissed if the door didn't come up immediately and he would be standing in front of the door wagging his tail and he was super happy when the vet appeared and it's kind of the same with Shadow which is super funny. Anyway, they measured his temperature, the fever is gone which is great news and we can all tell that he's doing much much better than yesterday and I'm so relieved and so grateful. They gave us one more package of the antibiotics and said that he's supposed to take them in total for 10 days. And we also got painkillers and we're supposed to call the vet on Friday, which is in two days, and tell them how he's doing and then we'll take it from there. Over the next days, Shadow was doing gradually better. We started going on short walks and as his energy level was rising, we were able to slowly extend our time outside. He was super cheerful at the vet and he even examined all possible dog treats in the pet store. And then one day he even wanted to play and train. And that was the moment I prayed for. And that was when I knew he was going to be okay. Now it all seems like a bad dream. This whole experience reminded me of what I already knew before. Shadow is my entire world. I love him so, so much. I know one day I will have to say goodbye, but fortunately it's not time yet. And we'll keep making the best of every single day. So if you have a fur buddy, stop whatever you're doing and give them some extra love. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. God bless you guys. <laughs>